been trying to start filming so many times today like I've been downstairs for the last couple of hours and I've been doing some kind of healthy things and trying to relax as well and just being online and stuff and I kept thinking I'll start my video I'll start my video I came in here a couple of minutes ago and I thought I'll start my video and then I went and did something else so like it's 20 to 8 and I was meant to film from about 4 o'clock onwards because I knew I was going to film today and then I went and did my makeup probably only two hours ago but I was going to film without makeup on because I'm tanned at the moment I tanned yesterday I don't know if you can actually tell it's not showing probably if I film in my car tomorrow for my weekly vlog um, you'll probably see it um, so yeah I went and played with my makeup earlier um, I thought I'll try a foundation I've not used in ages so I opened one because I've got loads of like open ones and I bought this one to replace one that I already had and I got it in the wrong shade and I got a yellow toned one not a pink toned one and my skin is pink warm toned well it's cool toned but it's got pink to it so I put it on and it actually matched the colour of my tanned face and my face is lighter than my body because I used a different tan on my face than I used on my body but it worked and it looks quite good so I'm thinking of maybe using it this week every time I do my makeup another reason why I like to be tanned is because obviously I do have roots at the moment and my roots look better with a tan than they do with my natural skin colour even though you see her is meant to match your skin colour, it's meant to go together but it doesn't and I love how neat my eyebrows are today, that wasn't even deliberate so I thought I would do like a daily vlog again for either next Sunday for me, like a week today or the Tuesday so I've already filmed, edited, uploaded the weekly vlog which you will have seen on Thursday this is filming the day after that vlog finished because I actually did some on the Saturday I think it was just a bath I showed you my bath I think I think that's all I showed you and it's quite a short vlog like 23 minutes or something the funny thing was I actually filmed filmed outside a shop twice on Friday it would appear I didn't actually press record so I've checked several times that I am recording because I was sat there chatting away people watching me and I've got nothing to show for it so I've not been very well lately, um, Friday I was really unwell and I had to do the food shopping, I worked well Thursday, didn't feel great Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, last weekend was horrific, don't feel too bad today and I've, I've wrote like a 20 item to do list but it's all doable, I don't know if I'll get through it because when I started it I could have got through it but because I've sat around at various points today I'm not going to get as much done. I finally took all the rubbish out of my bedroom, bagged the rest of it up and went and put it in the dustbin. I'm getting all the recycling together, sorted out my clothes the other night. So I've got a pile for the tip and I've got some for the charity shop. Um, got spring awakening wax melt burning by the one coal. Because it's kind of, I only started it about 40 minutes ago. But I like it when I'm cleaning and tidying. I've hoovered downstairs, I've hoovered the stairs, I've hoovered the next floor and it's on my bedroom floor, on the floor that my bedroom's on and I've got carpet powder down so I need to rack that up I'm, going, I'm making something and then I'm going to make the evening meal it's probably going to be at half eight when that's done um, I need to do some ironing, I need to make my bed I've got my bedding in the dryer that I took off but I washed some bedding that was already washed but it weren't smelling so fresh, I washed it last night, dried it today, I think I'm going to put that on and have white on, but then again I'm tanned, oh let's just put it on, it'll wash out if I get tan on it, um, yeah, so I did want to get a video up for today, but because I've been ill, I haven't, and then I keep thinking will I be able to get one up on Tuesday, and I just don't know what to put up, everything that I can think of, like story times, I need to be on camera, <clears throat> and I'm not 100% happy with my hair at the moment because cause I don't have a fringe. Like, I'm happier with a fringe and I'll be happier when I get my roots done. Although it is saving me money, like I don't have the full amount towards it yet. So I should have had it done three weeks ago on this Thursday. 
so the first are just gone as you're watching this because hopefully you're watching this on the Sunday um, but obviously her dad died but I am keep thinking has she gone back to work yet yeah. I think she has and she's just forgot to contact me and she's probably just doing a few clients as I said I'm not going to go to the shop that she's working from so unless she's willing to either let me go to her her house or she come here I'm probably going to have to find a new hairdresser which worries me because obviously my hairdresser does my hair exactly how I want it done she's been doing it for a very very long time um yeah so but sometimes things change don't they I just know I probably won't get it cut for a few months if I have to find someone anyway I'm gonna go get some stuff done and then hopefully hopefully I'll film again obviously I'll film again I need to try and film again not done too well with this daily vlogging thing that I plan to do today like I started it super late like and then I started filming when I was in the middle of something and I was cooking and then I ate and then I had a couple of things that I did and I'd wrote a massive to-do list for myself today and there's only about three items left on it and they're quite time consuming items that are left like one of them is to do my ironing there's about 20 items in the ironing pile so and I'm all hot like I don't know if it's humid or if it's because I've got a temperature I know I do have a temperature um, but I think it's humid as well it's well it's well after midnight now so I've still got to put my bedding on it's here I have just put two pillowcases on um, I've not worn this for ages it was in the top of the on top of the fridge I've got like a wash basket and it's got stuff in that I probably don't even realise is in there because one of the things that was on my list that I didn't do was I was meant to go through it and sort it and anything that I've not used or worn or that I don't want is going to go in the, a bag because I've got a bag full of clothes that I want to go to the tip I've also got a bag of charity clothes and it's stuff that I've never worn so yeah I want to sort that out um, but I'm quite proud of myself I knew I'd managed the majority of the list and then um, there was like at one point today when I came and did my makeup I was sat in here for ages afterwards when I could have been doing stuff like I could have started my ironing or whatever so I know I could have done it but I've pushed myself more than I do normally and my house is a lot tidier than normal like I'm because I'm not having too many bad health days or my health isn't as bad as it can get when it is bad I've just been getting a little bit more done you can see there where I've tried to take the border off and it's left bits it's not as visible in the daylight but yeah before I came upstairs like I wrote a, a to-do list for the week because I also don't know how my health's going to be my health is bad it won't get done but one of the things it is is to and it's all in other places as well so yeah I've wrote some quite big things on it like do the border and stuff like that and also to paint the top of if you walk up the stairs there's like a mirror you've probably seen it as I'm walking down it's behind me because I walk, I painted one the wall on the right as you go up and because it's not that big and then I painted the wall on the landing on the left side ages ago so I want to do it at the top of the stairs and then it'll just leave the big wall that goes up the stairs and that's a bigger job I might get round to it one day but I want to paint that that's on there that this week and 
put all the recycling in the bin and there isn't that much because I filled up the last recycling bin quite quickly. Um, there's like bits of cleaning on the list that I want to do like I want to wipe all the skirting boards in the hallway as you come in because they're all filthy and I had them on a list ages ago but then I got sick and I also want to wipe under that radiator because I think I've dropped a drink or someone's dropped a drink you can see it's splashed on the radiator um, I can't remember what else is on the list is massive it's a full page and it's a long book um, I want to take the rest of the bed frame that's out there downstairs I think it's the two heaviest bits and that's why I left it there um, I can't remember what else is on it but it is big there's cleaning things there's things where I just want to like tidy the house um, this room's virtually done there's always stuff on that chair but it's not as bad as it used to be I've had to clear out of my drawers over the last few weeks and got rid of stuff that I don't use, don't need, don't want, don't like. Because ju I just hold on to stuff just because I've got it and because it was expensive. So this vlog isn't like the most interesting, it's not really following me around. I've got a candle there, as you can see. That that looks like a drink is actually a candle, I had that lit earlier and the um, wax burner was burning as well, but that's obviously gone out. And it will have gone out because the candles ended, not because it just blew itself out. Um, so I'm going to put my bedding on. And then I need to clean the sink because that was on my to-do list that I've already ticked off. It was bleach the toilet because that's how you keep it white. I do it once a week. Sometimes I like leave the bleach in for ages. But... I put it in about 15 minutes ago and I'm going to let it stay in for about half an hour to 40 minutes in total. So those I've ticked off knowing that I was going to come up and do it. I'm going to make my bed. Might, hopefully I'll vlog some more because I'm like, it's not the most interesting vlog so far is it? But it's just me just chatting about what I've done. Um, yeah, I'm just getting really sore. See, this candle's not burning very well, it's tunneling, that's when it leaves wax. This side was as bad as that side originally, but as it's going lower, because the heat's coming up towards it, that's melting a lot better. But that isn't really proving much. But, it's alright. As you can see, it is a glass, but it's a candle. And I did have that light, but it has gone out. This is where I keep my stuff that I need for up here. This is a wick trimmer. Looks like some dodgy nail cutters. I've got cotton wool which you put in to soak up the wax and to get it out. And then I've got loads of wax melts. My bigger collection is downstairs and I also have some in the room that I use as my office. This is a lovely little candle. I've not actually burnt this, but this is in the scent Plum Rose and Patchouli, which is one of my favourite ones. Um, I do have another one of these candles here in the scent Unicorn. As you can see, this tunnelled. Um, I'm hoping it'll improve as it goes lower. She charges the earth for these, she charges 350 for five. When most people, I don't know if I've got any of them in here. Do you know about the brand? So like this brand, she charges £3 including delivery for four. But most people charge £3 for six. She charges 350 for five plus £3.50 postage. I have got a tea light so I'm going to change this one. My wax that I've got in is actually plum rose and patchouli. 
it's had a few burns. I want to see if it still smells okay. If it is, I won't change it because I do like it a lot. And that one, can I find it? It's actually a lush dupe called Rose Jam, but she's called it this company, which is one of my favourites, has called it Rosy Jammies. And I cut this into three. Sometimes I do them into two, but because I adore it, I cut it into three. But this is a small wax pot. Do I have a full size one? I don't think I've got any full size ones here. But they're one ounce pots, and the normal size ones are two ounce pots. I had that the other day, it was gorgeous. I have a second one, obviously. Anyway, I'm going to put my bedding on and hopefully I'll be back. So, I went to put my sheet on my bed and I thought it was tangled up within the cover because there was definitely something inside the cover. I discovered it wasn't a white sheet like I thought it was and it was just two extra pillowcases identical to the two that I just put on and they were slightly bigger. Do you know when you buy a set, the pillowcases you get for them are smaller than if you buy them separate. So I'm going to be able to put them on the two other pillows because I have one on top, well I have two on each side. But no white sheets, so I went in um, my wardrobe, there's like a, a third part. Um, and I keep my spare bedding in, like my Christmas bedding sets in there. And with that is a white sheet, but it's like a terry one, like a towelling one. That's perfect for winter because it keeps you warm. But I didn't want to put it on my bed for now. So I don't know where my white sheet is unless it's fallen behind something. like. I've just been through the wash basket because that's where I found the um, the butterfly set because the set that I was wearing earlier this year, do you know what, it's got a grey side because um, I always had the grey side showing, that was in here because it doesn't think so very, it don't smell that good because um, I was originally going to wash this Hello, why are you snorting? She snorted because she snorts like a pig sometimes. Um, there's no white sheet. You're not having anything. You've got food, yeah? You've got food, little Mrs. Girl. Hey? You've got dog food. I want a steak. Give me a steak. I want a steak. I want a steak. So. No white sheet. Might have fallen down behind the dryer because there's a big gap down there. Mm. I've just looked and it's definitely not down behind the dryer because I filmed behind it. I I just filmed down behind the dryer and then looked at my footage. So could have fallen behind the chair in my bedroom because it's not on the chair or it could be folded up on top of something in my room which is the likely answer but it means it needs washing because I've clearly not used a white sheet since winter and I know for a fact I kept re-washing that towel in one because it's warm or I'd put the grey sheet on because the grey sheet goes with it so what colour sheet did I wash and dry then? because I had bedding on didn't I? I think it's the grey one we go with what's on but I'm gonna have to put it on so I hope I can find my white sheet and wash it and then get it on tomorrow
this is the book I'm reading at the moment. Um, it is second hand. I got it on eBay for like two pound, including delivery, and it's signed by Jeff Thompson. I didn't know that when I got it. Um, put my own chapter five. I think either five or six is super long. Um, but I've not read any for a couple of weeks. I'm actually proud of myself at how much I read. Um, I'm hoping to get some of it read this week. I don't know what I think about it. I think it's just stuff that we all know anyway. But I was intrigued, so I got it. And I do buy stuff, especially books, second hand. I do buy the odd one new and I never read them. I thought just in case. But yeah. I just read chapter 5 or real 5 as it's called. I actually got quite a lot from that. It actually rings true. It speaks volumes and it actually it has actually given me some good advice and some good tips in the space of what six pages or something. The next chapter has 19 pages, so I need to read that when I've got an hour to sit and absorb it and read it properly. Not at, like after one in the morning, that's not a good time, but yeah, I definitely would say pick this book up if you need some inspiration or some motivation. I think it's definitely good. I think that's why I read the first four chapters quickly. I think chapter 4 was quite long, or I think it was, um, but I, I am enjoying it and I feel like I'm getting little bits and pieces from it, but it's difficult because I got a little bit from it, then I was sick for a little while, so then I didn't read it, then I've just picked it up and in, in, in like the space of 10 minutes, I feel a little bit better about life and my situation and like I know what I need to do, it's just about having the tools and the ability to do it like we are who we make ourselves to be or who we surround ourselves with as like helps us or hinders us like who I'm surrounded by hinders me because they don't support me or help me and it's so strange that I do have people on my side helping me at the moment and it's something that I've never had and I don't know how to deal with it because it's all just new but all I've ever had is like people putting me down and being negative towards me. So every time when I was growing up, oh, I want to do this, oh, I want to do that. Even in adulthood, oh, you can't do that, oh, you'd be rubbish at that, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. It's all I get and then I don't do it and then I'm like... And it is hard because your parents should want the best for you, but mine don't. So I think, even though I'm loving my eyebrows... I'm going to turn my, turn my makeup off, take my makeup off, wash my face, I've got my bedding on. Um, I've just got this pulled back because it is hot, well, it's actually 10 degrees but I'm roasting, so I'm probably sick, which is brilliant. I would like to think I'm going to film more, but you never know with me, but this is going to go up on Sunday hopefully. I've got the doctors tomorrow. Um, I'm seeing two doctors tomorrow actually. My doctor and another doctor. My appointment's been booked with the other doctor, but my doctor will be joining the appointment at some point. Um, my doctor's organised this um, because I don't think it's something I'll be talking about on here at the moment or ever. One day I might do because what I'm at have to tell people or what's going on might help other people because other people might not realise this is an option not necessarily something you can do with your doctor I think it depends on your doctor and what kind of relationship you have with your doctor yeah, a little bit nervous but I'm always nervous about stuff <laughs>